I have another game here I want to show you. This is my guided missile. And it was released by Midway in 1977. Another old black and white. And well, you can see another older black and white uh, gunfight back there. I just finished working on that one. It's finally working. But anyway, like I said, this is about guided missile. Uh, it's a it's a cool looking cabinet. And another one that it doesn't really come through and maim all the all the stuff that happens. So definitely wanted to get this one in my my videos that I post. First, start at the side art here, and there's a missile being launched up from the bottom there, and checkered flags. I'm not exactly sure what that is all about, but there's a side out side art, and the front. I've seen different types uh, artwork on the front. This just has like a woven pattern on it, and others I've seen with missiles uh, painted on there. So I don't know when the cutoff was or why they did it but they did and here's the bezel another guided missile with the planes and tanks and stuff you try to shoot and here's the instructions it says game can be played by one or two players when operated by a single player use right player position insert coin as indicated on TB press one or two player button to start game Move control stick left or right for direction directing missiles. Missile. Control stick button launches missile. Right there. Keep firing until the game uh, timer reaches zero. And also says when you get the extended play, which is seven, set for 700. And here are your points 150 for a sub, 100 for the planes. Helicopters are 50, so are the tanks. Boats and trucks are 30 points. And here's the controllers. Uh, here's player one start, player two start. It's kind of backwards, but I don't know why they did that. The bottom midways are like that. And here's the joystick. Once you fire the missile, using the button up here, you can control it left or right. And you have player one and uh, player two here. And the coin door. I've added this little button here that doesn't usually have it, so you can start a game. And the really cool part is the, uh, I think it's really cool, is the actual the fact that it has the the plastic bubble on the background it has the painted three dimensional uh, effect, and it allows the you actually have the moving parts down on the monitor down here on the bottom that bounces off a one way or half silvered mirror, so the white graphics bounce off it, and you can see them and you see the uh, background from behind so it kind of superimposes it over each other and it gives it a cool effect and little artwork on the sides of the cabinets and you'll notice once it hits a a it hits a target you'll see a big explosion happen and that's done I'll show you the back That is done, kind of old school EM with this light bulb setup they have. So when an explosion happens, this light bulb will light like that. Light bulb will light up, and this graphic that's on back here of, of an explosion gets shown through the uh, here's the plastic metal or the plastic background here. That will show through, and you'll get that nice looking explosion. It's that uh, looks neat and might as well show this part this is just the standard midway setup hopefully it comes through uh, there's the game board there and uh, power supply you saw it flash and well, that's the power supply there's the transformer and uh, power supply there transformer in the middle but anyway back to the front and there's that just that explosion I was talking about and I guess really that's it. Um, gave you a tour of the cabinet. Now I'll just start a game up. Talk about that. All right, I got the camera set up. And uh, I guess before I start, I just wanted to tell you what's going on here. You're launching these missiles down at the bottom. And it's very reminiscent of the old EM shooting games where you have to target the, the uh, tanks and stuff. Kind of like Sega's Combat, I think it is. 
but you start at the bottom and you launch it up and it comes down and you try to guide it to hit one of those targets and you have, a, you have your control but the more you push it one way the more momentum it catches going one way the harder it is to change the direction so you kinda have to know what you're shooting at before you shoot at it and really commit to it because if you change your mind which one you want to hit in the middle you're probably gonna miss it and the other thing to mention is the sound in this is really neat uh, it's very it's very analog I mean it's all done with with sine waves and, and stuff like that um, just you'll hear the whistling of the jets going by the, the from the the, tar the missiles going up and the choppers will give the little choo -choo 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 sound and you'll see if if you guys can hear me over all that so I'm gonna start a two player game just to show you that you can play two players I'll probably just end up playing the the one side more but whoa when I hit the camera so there's the plane going by you hear that whistle and you'll see the points when I hit something in the uh, the corners there depending on who I'm shooting there's the second player and two players are fun because you can compete against each other it'd be more fun if I had a second person here doing this but the subs are really what you want to go after they're worth 150 like I said earlier and there's one of the planes going by the jets are the ones that make the whistling sound oh there's a sub oh I wasn't paying attention there's the chopper, the ch 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 hopefully you can hear that and ta totally gotta wait, hopefully that sub comes along again nope ah, gotta be paying more attention the helicopter there's different planes, but they're all worth 100 points. The little propeller one there. And then you got a single jet and the squad of jets. They're all worth the same points. Uh. And the longer you play, the faster it gets. Or the higher score you get, the faster it gets. There's a sub for that. points right there not bad I'm on extended play right now because I got over the 700 I think that's an extra 30 seconds I'll have to verify that and uh, I believe the original game is a 60 second game it's it's settable you can put it to a bunch of different stuff but I think mine's set for 60 so I got 14 1450 points I think I said that right but uh Yep, that's Guided Missile. Uh, like I said, it's it's just a lot better to see it in the cab because as you can imagine, if you're just looking at the graphics down there like you'd see in MAME, it's not much to look at. But I hope you enjoyed it.